Welcome to DriveWise Cars, my name is Stephen and this is our beautiful 2014 Mini Cooper Diesel Automatic 3-door hatchback. It's finished in white silver metallic with a black roof and black mirror caps. The mileage on this one is just 25,746. It's had in total four owners from new. In fact, we sold it to its last owner, Neil. And as you can see, it's come back to us again. And it comes with the benefit and reassurance of a fully documented mini service history. The specification on this one includes a chili pack, 16 inch black victory spoke alloy wheels, some protection glass, visual boost radio, heated front seats, front center armrest, chrome line exterior trim pack, LED fog lamps, LED driving lamps, and also LED headlamps. So without further ado, let's have a closer look round, shall we? If we start off at the front, and if I point out the radiator grill to you, we can see that that's all nice and shiny and bright. Well, that's part of the chrome line exterior trim pack. Then we'll come down the near side, or passenger side, and we can see those rather pretty 16-inch alley wheels. And as we slowly make our way to the rear of the car, there's another one of those wheels. And then coming around to the back now, if we look at the, the rear boot handle, we can see that's got the chrome line exterior trim pack treatment as well. Might just be worthwhile pointing out at this stage that the Cherish number N50 RMB is not included in the sale. That's Neil's own number and it will go back on its original number, which is FY64 FYF. So now at the off side or driver's side, so just take a moment to pause so we can appreciate those beautiful clean lines on those nice alloy wheels. Now we'll meander our way back to the front. White silver metallic is a lovely colour. Um, it's often confused with being white, and I suppose in certain lights it does, but it is a very, very light silver, and it looks gorgeous. I hope you'll agree. So that's the outside. Let's have a look on the inside, shall we? We'll pop the driver's door open, check out the door card, first of all, make sure that uh, Neil's looked after it and there's no damage. And I can confidently say it's beautiful. Now on the armrest, we've got switches here for the electric windows and the electric door mirrors. And if we pan over to the interior, with this one having the chili pack, it gets sport seats, half trimmed in leather and cloth, as we can see. Beautiful white stitching and the upholstery is absolutely pristine. The driver's seat is height adjustable using that lever. And then we've also got the front center armrest and the sumptuous leather, three spoke, multifunction steering wheel. So if I park myself inside, and we'll have a closer look. So on the left of the steering wheel, we've got cruise control. And then over on the right of the steering wheel, we've got buttons here to adjust the volume on your radio, change the station. And once you've paired your telephone up to the Bluetooth system, you receive an incoming call. What you need to do is press that little telephone icon and you can chat away merrily. Above the steering wheel, we've got the speedometer and just to confirm the mileage, two, oops, that's better, 25746. To the left of the steering wheel, we've got the rev counter. Then coming over to the centre of the dashboard, we've got the large visual boost radio system. Now I'll just start the engine up so I can talk you through everything on the visual boost radio system. Try and get rid of that glare, that's better. So we're back to the home screen. Start off at the bottom right hand corner. So here's the radio controls. We've got FM, AM and DAB. Then you would pair your telephone up using this facility. But the bit I like best is this one, vehicle information. So we just click on vehicle status. We can see that there's tire pressure monitoring system on this one. And at the moment, all four wheels are in green, which is exactly what we want. If you were to have an issue with one of the tyres, um, let's say it was losing air, you get a warning on the dashboard, which would encourage you to visit this part of the visual boost radio system. It would identify, identify which tyre needs attention, then you can take the necessary action. We click down a little bit more, 
and come to the bit I like the best, which is service requirements. So we click on brake fluid, everything says OK. But if you click on it, it tells you it needs changing in March 2024. Engine oil at the same time or in 15,000 miles and a vehicle check in 2026 or 34,000 miles. Then at the top, we can look at the service history. And we'll start off at its first service, which was at 14,371. Then in 2017, it had another service at 15,807. And if I click on that, it was a brake fluid change. So we can see we've had one in 2018, 2019, and then 2022, at 20,881 miles. We'll go back to the home screen. Then coming down underneath that, we've got the heating and ventilation controls. On the left hand side is the temperature gauge for the passenger, on the right hand side for the driver, and the fan speed in the middle there. If I just switch the engine off now, there. On the row of switches underneath that, we've got Switch the engine back on, then I can show you. That's better. So we've got the heated passenger seat with three different settings max demist, heated rear window, air conditioning, maximum air conditioning, and last but not least, a heated seat for the driver. Now I'll switch the engine off. Underneath that, we've got a USB and an auxiliary port, twin cup holders, the automatic gear stick. And then this section here is the major control panel for everything to do with the visual boost radio. So that's the view from the driver's seat. Now to gain access, if you want to put anybody in the back, just reach over the back of the driver's seat. There's a lever, as you can see just there, pull and it slides forward and then your rear passengers can gain access as well. And I think it's fair to say I don't think those seats have been sat in very much. They are absolutely immaculate. So, carry on now. We'll come round to the rear of the car again. Now to gain access to the boot on a mini hatchback, where the mini badge is there, underneath that there's a touch button. So you just press that and lift. And there you go. There's a 60-40 split rear seat arrangement, so you can fold either or both of those down. You've also got, I call it a secret compartment. So you've a solid panel there that lifts up and you can put things under there as well. If you want to lift this out altogether, you can do. And it gives you uh, more options in terms of versatility and storage space. Now we come back down the near side again, pop open the front passenger door, check out that door card. It's absolutely gorgeous. And the front passenger seat, well, that's as clean as the rest of the interior. It's beautiful. And just like the driver, you can adjust the height of the passenger seat too. And again, just like the driver's seat, if you want to let anybody in the back, just put your hand over the back of the seat, find the lever, lift up, and gently pull the seat forwards, and there you go. So to summarise, here we've got a gorgeous... 2014 Mini Cooper Diesel three door hatchback finished in white silver metallic with only 25,746 miles and a fully documented mini service history. It comes with a chili pack, visual boost radio, heated seats, front center armrest, chrome line exterior trim pack, LED headlamps, and LED fog lamps. My name is Stephen. I hope you've enjoyed the video and I look forward to speaking to you very soon.